Welcome to another episode of React and TypeScript tutorial series. In this video, we're going to learn about side effects in React. So what is side effect in React? Suppose in a React application, we want to do something that is outside of React application, outside of React's uh, ability. So suppose uh, you have this user component. So it is getting some props and it's calculating how the component will be rendered, what is going to be displayed. But suppose you want to do something else that is not in the control of React like fetching some data or accessing the file system or we want to add some logging whatever it is if it is outside of the react system that is called side effects and if the side effect is caused by the rendering so suppose we want to do something when the component is mounted like it is rendered then that time you can use the side effect so for that we're going to use this hook called use effect hook in react so let's see the documentation of it use effect use effect is a react hook that lets you synchronize a component with an external system what is the meaning of this synchronize a component so the synchronization means that when the component is going to be rendered or when something happens in the component that time we want to do something in the external system so that is why this synchronization word is used here okay let's let's write some code here so this is one user component and here i'm going to write one use effect hook and I'm going to pass one function and the content on the function is where we're going to write our effect. So let's say I want to log something like console log something or it can get some data like fetch data something like that. So that is the callback function that we're going to pass in this use effect hook and the second argument is the dependence array. So this, this dependence array, so here I'm passing just one blank array, it means uh, it does not have any dependencies. Now this dependence array means, suppose uh, I have some variables here like show age, right? So if I add show age here, that means this function, this effect function will be called only when the show age changes, right? So that is the dependency. So if the show age changes, then we call this function and if we don't pass anything here like if we pass dependencies array as blank then this function this effect function is going to be called only once the component is mounted okay only for the first time and if react is calling this user function this uh, render function multiple times then this use effect will not be called and that is why we have written all this data fetching and logging operation here because otherwise if we add phase data outside of it that is not the correct way because depending on different situations react can call this uh, render function multiple times and we don't want to fetch data every time right so that's why we are going to use this use effect hook uh, so if you check the documentation of this use effect hook you can find out that it has a lot of different use cases like for example connecting to an external system that i already mentioned uh, wrapping effect in custom hooks controlling a non widget non react widget yeah so that's what i was talking about right that um, if it is outside of react that is a side effect so if we are loading something like some widget that is not react then we can use the use effect hook to initialize that widget or do something fetching data uh, specifying reactive dependencies updating state based on previous state removing unnecessary object dependencies okay so you can go through the documentation if you want but the main idea of the use effect hook is that we're doing something that is outside of react's render flow and that's when you use the use effect hook there's one more point you should know that is uh, called the cleanup so in use effect i'm going to remove this because it is throwing error so in use effect if you return something from this function suppose you are returning this function this becomes the cleanup function so what it is actually so suppose in the effect you are doing something like subscribe you are subscribing to some event subscribe to some event so in the cleaner function you should unsubscribe from that event so this is just one example it is saying that this return this cleaner function will be called once the component is unmounted okay there can be different use cases for example when you are adding some animations like in use effect if we add something like uh, move the component from left side to right side then in the cleanup function you can reset that change right 
so if we check the examples in the documentation we can find out that yeah in the use effect connection dot connect and in return function there is a cleanup function connection to disconnect so whatever the effect whatever the side effects you are doing in the effect function use effect function you should also do the cleanup suppose you are creating some temporary files in the cleanup function you can delete the temporary files like that okay so that's it for today's video we learned about use effect hook if you liked it please hit like and if you're liking the series then please subscribe and if you have any comments or any suggestions or any questions please ask me in the comment section i'll try to answer them thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next episode